Okay, if you're at this point of the exercise, you want to create the back of the shirt, and this is how you do it. I'm going to create a brand new layer. So you have your main shirt, the sleeves are repeated, the stitching, the hem. Um, the only problem with selecting this part and moving it up is you'll see it has all these points. So it doesn't really do what I want. It gets really weird like that. So let's undo that. I think the easiest thing to do at this point, if you have all these points on your neckline, is to cut it and recreate that. So let me first lock this so I can recreate the neck. So I grab the whole thing with my selection tool. I go under Object, Lock, Selection. Then I go to my Pen tool and click and drag. Then I can grab this entire shape. Notice everything else is locked so I don't mess it up. Right click transform, reflect, and hit copy. And you'll see that it does this. It just means that there's a fill. So I had to get rid of the fill, change that to none. Then I scoot that over, line it up. And then, let's see, then I want to connect these two. So here's one line and here's one line here. So I'm in my direct selection tool. Click and drag around those two areas or those two points. Go to Object, Path, Average, that way they're on top of each other, and click on both, then say OK. Then Object, Path, Join. OK, so now we have just the neckline by itself, and then we have to unlock the shirt so we can connect the neckline to this part of the shirt. So Object, Unlock All. OK. Um, now we want to lock the neckline that we just made so we don't mess that up. So object, lock, selection. Okay, now we're just going to cut this part of the neckline apart from the shirt. I hope that makes sense. Remember this part with all the points on it? So go to the scissors, click on this corner. Whoops, I missed it. I'm going to click right on that corner. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so click on this one right there and this one right here. Okay, now this inner neckline of the shirt is selected. So then I can hit my delete button a couple times and it's gone. Okay, now we want to connect this shirt with the new smooth neckline. So I need to unlock that neckline first. So unlock all. Okay, then direct selection tool. Grab those two points. Object, Path, Average, both, okay, Object, Path, Join, okay, then do the same for the other side. Grab those two points, I think I grabbed too many, I went like that, see there's so, so there's too many points. I just want to grab just these two little ones that are close to each other. Object, Path, Average, both, okay, Object, Path, Join. Okay, so now it's a nice closed shape. And you'll notice that I have no fill. That's why it's showing where the sleeve is. So we're just going to add white to that. Um, do you see my colors? Here's swatches. Fill it with white for now. Okay, now I can create a copy of this for the back. Um, let me zoom out so we can see it. Okay, this is where it's a good, um, it's a good idea to create layers. So I'm just going to make a copy of this layer. I grab the layer. Do you see my layers box right here? Right on the top. So I click on that box where it says layer two and I drag it all the way down to where it says new layer, that icon. So now I have two. If I click on one, um, you know, they're still there. They're just on top of each other. So I'm gonna name this front, okay? And then this one, you, you double click on the word and then I'm gonna type back. Okay, so I'm going to hide the front one so I don't mess it up. Now with the back one selected, click on your direct selection tool. Now we can select this area, move it up. I hold down my shift key so it moves up a little bit faster and that's probably good enough. If you want to see what it looks like with the front of the shirt, just click on the box where the eye should be. And okay, so I just have to move these um, layers around. So the back is on top of the shirt, that's wrong. So we just have to move that down. 
click on that box, and drag it, and once you see it highlighted, then you can let go. Okay, so now the front of the shirt is on the top where it should be, and the back of the shirt is underneath. Okay, all right, so now we have two shirts, and you'll notice when I click on it, then the back layer gets highlighted. And why don't we just fill it in so we don't, don't get mixed up? So with a fill box in the front, let's just fill it with a light gray. Okay, and then let's click on the front of the shirt, and you'll notice that the front layer highlighted. And again, with the fill color in the front, let's change it to a different color. I'm in this mood right now. That's really gross color, but that's fine. Okay, so then we want to make the that double seam, whatever that's called. So let's um, grab this line. Let's see. Let's 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 do the back one first. So direct selection tool. Um, highlight that line. And then Control C, Control F to paste it in the front. And this time we're going to remove the fill, so none. And then the stroke, we want to change that to a thicker stroke. Um, stroke, change the weight to like three points, and then we're just going to um, expand it. So I go to Object, Expand, and this box will appear, and we want to expand the stroke, not the fill. So I uncheck Fill. And then I say okay. Alright, and then what it does is it switches it so that the black stroke become a black fill, but just swap it. So click on this curved arrow. Okay, and then you're gonna fill this the, the inside color with white. Okay. I know it's sort of confusing, but just try to go through the steps and it won't you'll see that it's not that hard. Okay, then we're, we're going to do the same with the front. Click on this line with our direct selection tool. Um, control C, Control F. Uh, remove the fill. And then make this stroke three points. Then object, expand. Uncheck the fill so only the stroke gets expanded. Click OK. Um, let's see. Swap it so that it's a black stroke, and then fill it with white. Fill it with white. Okay, and then these can be colored in, you know, if you want to. And then we can color in the sleeve. Um, I'm holding down my shift key so I can select two items. And then I click on my eyedropper, and then I click on this puke color of the shirt. Whoops. Yeah, you can't click on your eyedropper and click on something else. Otherwise, it'll pick up that color. Okay, I think our seam or our hem disappeared on the bottom, but I'm sure that's here. There it is. I just um, sent this to the back so that the seam is in the front. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Just practice and you'll get it.